Hey guys and girls, my name is Alan and welcome to today's chess opening video. As you can see, relic count, almost cap, same old story, yada yada yada, let's just get down to it. But before we do that, so if I just go into the community section and show you the message of the day, if you've been off Uncharted 4 for a while, uh, a couple of things have, well, not necessarily changed, but uh, it's the 10th anniversary of Uncharted. I did do a video talking about, well, I just congratulate you, Naughty Dog, basically. If you want to check out the video, I'll link it on the screen now, and I'll also link it in the description. But basically, the Uncharted franchise has turned 10, and in celebration of that, uh, Uncharted and, well, sorry, Naughty Dog and Sony have released a few things for free. So there's uh, some themes that are available from the store. I think those have expired now. I did do a video previously last week talking about uh, obviously that theme coming out, the themes coming out, sorry, and uh, the fact that they were time limited. So if you didn't watch that video, unfortunately, I think you might have missed it by now. Uh, however, there are some other stuff that's going on still. Uh, one of the things is you do get a free skin bundle in Uncharted 4 multiplayer. And I'll show you that skin bundle in a second. But more importantly, if you just keep reading that first paragraph, it says that up until the 19th of December, everything in the store is half price. So whether that's you use Uncharted points or if like me, you have a lot of relics to spend, everything's half price. So if I just go to the store now and show you. First off, this is the bundle. Uh, I think I had most of these already, so it's a little bit annoying. I, I don't think I got anything new from this. Uh, I know for a fact I got the uh, Elena one because I use that one quite a lot. So... Yeah, um, if you need the skins, they're available for free. I think you get it as soon as you log in, basically, so you don't need to worry about unlocking it. But they are free, as you can see, uh, so grab those. Into, uh, they're free until the 19th, but if you're like me, you'd buy a lot of chests, and chances are you already got them. Uh, and then the second thing is, uh, well, so these are half prices already. Everything's half price here if you if you, if you you buy stuff with uh, Uncharted points. But if you're like me and you go into the chest store and you buy stuff using relics, as you can see, everything's half price. So this is normally 200, this would be normally 100, that's normally 300, and that's normally 1500. So if you've got a lot of relics saved up, now's a good time to spend. If you don't have a lot of relics saved up, then as I said, this event is ongoing until the 19th. So you've got a lot of time to earn some relics. If you want to rack up as, as many relics as you can in a short amount of time, then I recommend you doing the, the swapping challenge trick. I did do a video about that uh, previously a few months back. I'll link that on the screen now. I'll also link it in the description. Usually I open about... Uh, 15 chests and that takes me about 3k um, as you can see the, the chest values are halved at the moment so I do want to maximize how many chests I buy up until the 19th of December but I don't need to get it all out in one video because that would be a ridiculously long video and I'll be stupidly tired by the end of it so I'm going to start off by opening 20 of these DLC vanity chests that brings you down to 3k so I've still got plenty of relics to spend at the end of that but we'll see how long the video is uh, as I said I'd rather make multiple videos that aren't too long rather than just squeeze it all into one ridiculously long video as of the events going on until the 19th of December so plenty of time uh, also I'm not going to do it in the video itself but what I'd recommend is if you play a lot of multiplayer it's now is a good time to stock up on these one use boosters I know there are only 100 relics per chest but 50 relics can't argue with that I mean, I don't use them personally in multiplayer, but if you do and you don't really care about the cosmetic stuff, then I'd plow all your relics into that just because, as I said, half price is great and they, they don't run out, so you just you stuck them up until you use them, basically. Anyway, let's get down to this chest opening. Right, so this is chest number one. Hopefully we get some good stuff today. Premium items, please. And we start off with a awful colour combination. That is just horrendous. What is that? It's like, it's like you went to bed and just threw on the first pair of, like, trousers and, and shirt you could find, pyjama-wise. It just didn't even bother looking. Prison Orca, I think that's new. Not particularly interesting, but it is new. And then, this is a colour palette, yeah. Right, so, you won't know, but today is Friday the 24th which of course is the day after Thanksgiving if you're in America. Uh, so if you guys celebrate it, then happy Thanksgiving and I hope you had some good food and spend some good time with the family. It's kind of like a, a pre-Christmas thing, isn't it? That's, that's my interpretation of it as a Brit anyway. I don't celebrate it. Um, I mean, I get the meaning behind it and, and well, vaguely I get the meaning behind it. That's a new camo, but not the one I'm after. Appropriate for the weather, but I'd never use it. And <laughs> uh, it's, it's okay, I guess, it's okay. So yeah, what was I saying? Uh, Thanksgiving. So yeah, hope, hope you had a good time. Uh, whatever you did, if, as I said, if you celebrate it, if you don't, then it's just another day. Um, also, the day associated with after is obviously Black Friday, which is uh, today. And uh, it's not a massive thing in the UK. They've tried to make it a big thing, but I don't think it's really taken off. Um, I mean, I don't really... I mean, the first couple of years, I was jumping on the sales and stuff, but I've come to realise that I don't... Ooh, nice. This one's a nice camo. Storm, yes, animated. Oh, that looks dope. I like that. I like that a lot. I might be using that one. So yeah, I have, I, as I said, I, I, I jumped on it for the first couple of years, 
but I don't really need anything these days. Um, if I do need it, I'd rather just, you know, spend my time doing a proper amount of research and, you know, sometimes you can find yourself a better deal just by waiting for a different time. You don't need to actually buy stuff during sales for it to be a good price. So if you don't need it, save your money in my opinion, but you know, some people just love a love a love a good bargain, doesn't matter what it is. The thing is in the UK it's sort of like no name brands that get slashed down to next to nothing and there's a reason why they get slashed down to next to nothing because nobody wants to pay full whack for them. So yeah, it's one of those sort of things. Um as I as I get older and I'm a bit more conscious of what I'm spending, especially now that I've got things to, to worry about like bills and stuff and mortgage. So yeah, I don't have as much money to throw around but yeah, in general, like I think that if you don't need it and you can afford to wait for it, then then do so. Because sometimes I buy a lot of stuff and it just ends up staying in the packaging for ages at a time. And I realize that, oh, new camo, another animated one. Very nice. Not as nice as the Storm one, but still very nice. Yeah, it just it just stays in the packaging. And then, you know, if, you'd have just, if I'd have just waited to when I actually needed to buy said item... I probably could have saved money then, you know what I mean? Because the price would have inevitably gone down, if you follow what I'm saying. But, you know, obviously, it's your money. You spend it how you want to spend it. Right, so moving on to the next topic. So Friday the 24th is also a key date for me uh, because it will be the first time that I do live streaming. Now, again, I did talk about this in a previous video last week, um, and I said I was going to live stream for the first time on Friday the 24th. And this is the morning of that day, so I haven't actually done any live streaming yet. Um, but I need to clear some relics out, so I thought I'd get this video recorded. But I don't think I'm actually going to publish this video for at least another week or so, something like that. Um, and it's it's just funny because I, I was prepping myself last night, and it took a lot longer than I thought. So it's good that I set myself a day to do it. That's uh, Well, it didn't take a whole day, but it took a couple of hours. Um, so I was just setting up my Twitch account, sorting out you know the, the channel layout and stuff like that. And it's not a lot of stuff to do, but it's just obviously it's all new to me. So I just needed to take my time and do it. And yeah, I... It was interesting. Um, as I said in a, in a previous video, several previous videos now, one of the things I enjoy about doing YouTube and stuff is that I get to learn these new things. And all right, I don't know if I want to do this indefinitely, but I picked up a few skills. But I also know what goes into making one of these channels now. If someone says to me now, you know, how do you live stream? I kind of know what they're talking about. You know, I mean, obviously they wouldn't ask me for advice or anything, but it's new skin. I don't really like this one. <laughs> I can see Kurt wearing it though, but I just, I just don't. I just don't like this one. Um, so yeah, it's just it's just interesting to see it from the other side, you know. I mean, I I watch a bit of uh, streaming myself, not religiously. I'm more of a YouTube person, but again, I kind of watch YouTube sporadically. I don't watch it like every day and every night, uh, but I do I do watch it more than I watch uh, Twitch streaming. But now I know how it works, you know, behind the scenes of YouTube, and I know how it works behind the scenes of Twitch. And, you know, it's just, it's just interesting. I like learning new stuff, um, even if... What's this? Oh, it's a taunt. I was going to say, it just looks like a normal outfit. And I guess if you really want to rub it in someone's face, then this would be the one to use. But look how long it is. I could have built a gun and shot him in this time. So yeah, hopefully um, a couple of you guys tuned in to, to check me out. Obviously, I, I was just going to live stream. Well, I am planning to... Wait, I was? I am? I am planning to stream to Uncharted 4 Survival Solar Arena. That's the new camo crystal. I don't know, it doesn't look very crystally, does it? It looks like... I don't know, it looks like fake plastic toy crystal. I don't know, that doesn't look very good at all. It looks very cheap and tacky. <laughs> yeah right well that would in prison see what happens oh dear crash you know what as funny as this color combination is on some of the other outfits it actually looks okay on this one it's like a uniform of some sort that's it's, it's okay i mean tactically it's terrible because it stands out ridiculously but in terms of outfits it's not that bad <laughs> it's actually the one decent color combination Again, I don't know, I, maybe, maybe, if you went for the pink holster, sort of a grandpa figure, I guess, I can see that. Uh, so yeah, so hopefully some of you guys tuned in uh, and, and watched it, um, and if you did, I mean, I, obviously I don't know if you've told me yet, but let me know how you thought it went. Some constructive uh, feedback would be appreciated, I said it's my first time ever doing it, so... Uh, there's plenty of stuff I can still learn, and uh, hopefully I had fun as well. I mean, I, as I said, I'll, I'll probably make a video at some point in the future after I've actually done it, talk about it in more detail. But 
leading up to it. Uh, uh, that's not very. Uh, I mean, he looks like a sailor, but not very uh, flattering. Nautical Form One Eighteen. Oh, I think I was after this one. So it's basically a flip of what she's what I currently use with her outfit. So it's black trousers. She's got a white top. So this is like the flip of that, which is not too bad. That's alright. Powder puff Flynn. I can see Flynn wearing that. I can see him wearing that. Very casual outfit. As I said, hopefully I did enjoy myself. And uh, if I did, then obviously I'll continue in the future. And if I didn't, then I won't. But again, I'll talk about that in a video that I record after today. Once I've actually done the stream. Just, so again, just to remind you, this is the morning of me before doing the stream. So uh, I think I'm all ready to go. I just need to actually do the thing. Oh, this is a new one. Military Rave. Not too bad. That's alright. I like that one. It's good. Maybe I'll start using that one. I don't know, I like the suit though. The suit looks sharp. This one's okay. Eh, it's not, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Seeing as I'm on the topic of Twitch streaming, I might as well talk about it. So, before I, I start getting into it, I always do what... Before I start doing anything... Oh, nice! Yes! Uh, the Lost Legacy Chloe. That's what I'm talking about. New outfit. And I think this is a premium item as well. I believe it's a premium item. I might start using this one. Very nice. Oh, sweet. Not technically the skin I was after for Chloe, but I'll take it. I will take it. Thank you. Not too bad. Cool. So yeah, as I was saying, um, before I start getting into anything, I always do quite a lot of research. That's that's what I do. Um, it doesn't matter what it is. I always try and read upon it as best as I can. Uh, and so I was reading up on, on how to how to Twitch stream and you know how to do it and tips and beginner guides, that sort of thing. Uh, just going through it. And um, one of the things that I read was to... To try always always try and be interactive with the audience so i guess you guys can tell me if i succeeded or failed in doing that um when i've actually done the stream and it's it's funny because i was watching a few random twitch streamers back like a couple of weeks back a couple of months back when i was doing this research this is also new after i think so yeah prisoner later and i stumbled across this one channel and uh there was this it was it was just a girl play i can't remember what she was playing um and uh, no i think it was in Chide. I don't know, I tried to research games that I was actually going to consider streaming and just randomly she would just start meowing and I just couldn't figure out why. Like, is she mad? Is she... what's going on? Is it part of a game? Is it part of the stream? Is it her thing? I couldn't figure out why she was just meowing randomly. Like she would just stop talking and then brief silence and then meow. And it's funny because a, couple, so a few days later I was reading this article and one of the things that this article recommended was to just always be interactive with the audience and it doesn't matter what you're doing so try not to be too silent for too long so i'm guessing her plan i mean i'm only assuming at this point but maybe her her definition of that was to just make random noises um i mean it's as i said i don't know if it's the connection or not but it just made me laugh so that's what i envisaged that, you know doing that is so she was just making some random noises um so yeah i just i thought that was funny um and it's just it's one of the things that, hey it's very similar to the one that sully had Very, uh, uh, very standard. So I suppose. Pleasant. Oh dear, that was awful. That is straight awful. Yeah, so I guess that leads me on to another topic I could talk about, I suppose, and that's the way that my my brain operates. Um, whenever I I see something or I come across something and it doesn't quite make sense to me, it sort of just stays at the back of my mind. It sort of bugs me a little bit. Um, and it's always funny to me, like. So, like sometimes it could be weeks later, months later, I'll suddenly put you know two and two together and think, ah, oh, maybe that's why that happened. Um, and so this is one of those moments. So I I checked out a channel, a few other people's channels, but not just hers. Um, and so that, but that's the one thing that stood out from that evening of research. And uh, and then a few weeks later, I read this article, and and then it suddenly clicks. I was like, oh, maybe that's why she did what she did. And I, as I said, that's just the sort of brain that I have. Um, Whenever I see or hear something or you know, experience something that doesn't quite make sense to me, it sort of just stays at the back of my mind. And, and at some point in the future, uh, I'd say it could be weeks, could be months, sometimes even longer, uh, I'll just I'll be like, oh, I get it now. I, I know why. Um, so, yeah, that's just an insight into the way I operate. This one's quite nice. I quite like this. Unless she's going on holiday or something. Ski resort. I can picture it now. On the slopes. Sitting in a, a cabin lodge somewhere with a hot drink. 
Hunting front strike. Ah, I'm not feeling this color combination at all. Crash. Oh, this one's going to be horrendous, isn't it? Well, you certainly wouldn't want to go on a high swear in that. <laughs> it just sticks out so much. I can see right. I can see Talbot wearing this. I can see him wearing that. Sort of a mustardy yellow. Right, we're getting close now to the 20 crates. I think the video is getting a bit long now, so I might have to end it at 20. But as I said, plenty of time until the 19th of December, so I will continue to do chess openings as necessary. Ooh, another animated camo. I've had a lot of camos today. I mean, I do like them, don't get me wrong. So I'm great. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad for that. I'm happy. I'll take that. Smoky Lena. Very subtle. Simple. Don't think I'd use it over the Warrior one, though. Ah, oh, NVGs. Nah. Just doesn't fit with the theme, to be honest. Right, how close are we? I think this is the final one. This is number 20. I'm going to end the video here after this chest. Come on, Premium Chloe. Hey, holiday lights. Christmas lights. It bugs me that people call them holiday lights. Well, holiday anything, like. It's all about being PC and stuff, and I just, I, I don't really get it, to be honest with you. There's nothing wrong with saying Christmas. Nothing at all. That is just horrific. What is that? That is terrible. Oh my word, that's got to be the worst outfit so far today. And that's saying something, because there's been a few. Tundra. Eh, this one's okay. Very subtle. Alright then, so that will do it for today's chess opening video. As I said, I don't want to drag it out too long. I think this is the right sort of length. I don't want to make it too much longer. As I said, I'll be doing plenty more of these chess openings leading up to the 19th. And obviously I'll continue afterwards as well. But up until the 19th specifically because of the half price discount. I believe that's how long it's going on for. So if you've got relics to spend, now's time to spend them. If you haven't earned any relics recently, then now's a good time to earn them. And then spend them because of the half price bonus. But yeah, if you enjoy the content, consider tapping the like button. I really do appreciate it. And as always, if you've got any thoughts you'd like to share with me regarding anything I've talked about today. Did I unlock anything particularly good? Well, I unlocked the Chloe one. That was kind of cool. You know what? I might even put that one into use in my stream tonight. The only thing is, if you guys watch this and then... Well, watch the stream and then watch this. It's kind of a bit of a spoiler. So uh, maybe I'll leave it out then in that case. Because I, I want you guys to experience these chess openings naturally so that you see the stuff that I unlock. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll leave it off. I'll leave it off. Anyway, so I don't know if I'll be streaming regularly or not. I guess I'll talk about it in a future video. But uh, hopefully you guys manage to tune in. If not, you can probably catch the video on demand if you want to. It's just going to be me playing Uncharted 4 Solo Survival uh, on Crushing. And of course, if I manage to complete any of the matches solo flawlessly, then I will of course post to YouTube as I always do. But yeah, until next time, thanks for seeing, thanks for listening, take care, and I will see you later.